The hotter it is outside, the harder your AC system has to work to keep the cabin cool. And it cannot do this without proper airflow. There are certain things that you can do to make sure that your AC system works at top performance. Let's talk about this right now. The number one thing that you will need to check is your condenser. The condenser is what removes heat from the refrigerant and it's located in front of the radiator. If you go um, in front of the grill, right in front of your car and go in here, what I'm looking at right now is the condenser. It looks like a radiator and it's got fins in it. That's what removes the heat from the refrigerant when there is proper airflow. So if you, go, if you see a lot of debris in here, what you will need to do, you need to hose it down and to remove those debris. You're not going to damage anything that will remove the debris and allow proper airflow because if you have a lot of debris in here, airflow is going to be almost impassable and that will undercool your cabin. Be really generous with the water to hose it down really good. And remember that it, when you drive at night, you have a lot of bugs in your front bumper. If you think your front bumper is a magnet to bugs, uh, you need to take a look at your condenser. Condenser is another magnet for bugs. And um, I, I don't know if the camera picked it up. I had a lot of bugs that, that were stuck um, in that condenser. And I believe that you do as well. So you, you really need to take a good look and hose it down really good. Be really generous with the water because AC system is a very complicated system and maintenance is key in these things and you need to know what you're looking for. After cleaning the condenser, it only makes sense to check the cooling fan shrouds. And when you turn on your AC, if you hear the fans running at full speed, it's because they are there. They play a crucial part in removing heat in the refrigerant. You will need to inspect the shrouds for damage. The next step is to check if your car has a cabin air filter. Cabin air filter is usually, it's part of the filtration system in the vehicle and it's usually in this HVAC unit. And if you open your glove box in most cars, you open the glove box, then you're gonna have to unlatch the glove box. And this Ford, it is like this. So if you go in here and um, I'm gonna show you what to look for in order to find your cabin air filter. So in this car, the cabin filter is in here. This is the HVAC unit, this whole unit you're looking at right now. I hope I got good light. And um, this cover, if you try to remove it, you're gonna get to the to the filter. This white thing you're looking at is the filter. I'm gonna take it out and we're going to take a look at it and see what it looks like. And in a lot of cars, if your cabin air filter is not behind the glove box, then you need to go somewhere underneath it. Somewhere underneath, then you should be able to find it. I don't have good lining down there, but that just gives you an idea. Cabin air filter out. You see the white part right here, and look how dark this is. Um, yeah. We're going between. This is really, really dirty. We have a lot of bugs in between these, and it's really, really dark. And this air is not really good for you to breathe. Um, obviously right so you need to be very careful you need to keep you need to inspect your cabin air filter and this will also um, cause the, uh, the AC system to undercool so you need to inspect this um, periodically manufacturers have a an interval time to inspect your cabin air filter and obviously right here this is this is really bad for you especially in, in seasons when um, flowers are growing um, this filter, this this air is not well filtered for you to breathe it. So um, this is what this cabin air filter looks like. You need to check yours and, um, and make the de determination to see if it needs to be replaced or not. And lastly, make sure that you're in recirculation mode, which is this button right here with the little arrow inside of the car. Um, this will, as the name implies, it's going to recirculate the air that's already in the cabin and the AC system wouldn't have to work as hard. And um, uh, the, the AC system goes beyond checking those little things that we went through in this, we went through in this video. So um, if you still experiencing undercool AC system, just, just um, schedule an appointment to your nearest shop and 
one thing that you I would advise advise against is try to put AC um, put refrigerant in your AC system by yourself because you're not measuring how much you're putting in and um, the AC system has has a set amount of refrigerant that you have to put in there and when you when you buy these things from the local auto parts store uh, you don't know how much you're putting in there because you you don't know how much is already in the AC system so I would advise against these so always do the job the right way so once again thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed it like subscribe comment and share Let's do it.